you, I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by the queen of rave. Oh yes, it's Rosella. And here is what happened when I caught up with her. Rosella, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? I'm very well, Hayley. How are you? Yes, I'm very well. It's so lovely to have you here. We've been really excited about this. We've been trying to make it happen for a while. So this is good news. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, and obviously we just sort of come out of lockdown. I know you've been making music. What else have you been up to? Well, I've been making music and, uh, you know, the lockdown has been such a shock for all of us. And uh, Gary, my oh. record label boss, said, uh, Rosella, let's just keep on releasing material and uh, just try and live our lives as we normally possibly can. So I had the fortune of releasing uh, uh, during the lockdown two singles, uh, yes. you know, one of them called Magnificent, which we released, I think it was during the first lockdown on the 4th of May. And uh, we weren't able to do a video for it because of obvious reasons. And uh, we released uh, the second one on the, um, towards the end of November, 2020. And uh, that was called I Feel It Slipping Away. And yes, of course, you know, I love that. Yeah, I'm working on, on an album to follow with all those tracks in it. Yeah, really exciting. I think it has been a time to get creative, hasn't it? Because sometimes you're so busy touring and stuff, it's quite nice just to have that time, you know, to write music and get involved, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been wonderful. I mean, you know, um, when I look back, uh, how can I say, it? Uh, the break of not going out and performing nearly every weekend, of which I absolutely miss actually also oh. gave me an opportunity to rest my voice, you know, yes. and it's something I didn't realize I needed to do so badly because uh, my voice was getting really tired, really hoarse. Um, so I used that time to just reflect and rest my voice and uh, yeah, and it's been fine. Yeah, and what a voice it is. Rosanna, you'd be so horrified by my voice. I just listen to you and go, <laughs> wow, how does she even have that voice? Just incredible. I'm still working Thank on you. it, trust me, in karaoke. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, speaking of uh, your voice, this song, Everybody's Free. I mean, when I hear this song, I don't walk to the dance floor, I run to the dance floor. It is such a feel good song. I love the words as well. And especially in lockdown, I was playing this and it literally just does make you feel free. It's a great tune, isn't it? It's a great track. And, you, you know, I remember going back to when I recorded it. I recorded that song uh, with the band of gypsies, Tim and Nigel, yes. who I will always, you know, consider as my angels. And uh, we recorded that track uh, in 1990. And, mm. um, you know, we released uh, singles before Everybody's Free and Everybody's Free came out uh, in 1991. And it became the hit that it still is today and you know it's going to be 30 years old uh, later this Whoa, year. Whoa, is it? Yeah, yeah, I believe sometime, my husband looked it up, I believe it will be 30 years old in August or September around there. No, God, where has that time gone? Where <laughs> has the time gone? Where has I know, the time right? gone? Yeah. Um, it also uh, broke into the Billboard Top 40 and has over 2.6 million plays on YouTube alone. I mean, that's something to be proud of, isn't it? Oh, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I think there's one YouTube um, section that has uh, played Everybody's Free about over 15 million times, uh, which wow. is just mind blowing to me. Uh, you know, because I, I don't actively look out for these things. And then, of course, when I'm, you know, interviewed or um, I'm sent uh, questions and stuff like that, and it's written, you know, the, the one particular uh, YouTube showing of uh, the video, everybody's free, there's 15 million views. And I'm going, oh, how did that happen? <laughs> how? It's just, it's like yeah. somebody just made this figure up, you know, it's just so <laughs> surreal to me. Oh, well, it's just fabulous. Uh, reached number six uh, in the UK charts. We want everyone on your feet dancing on your Saturday night. Here we go, enjoy. Everybody's free.
for you because I know you started at a young age and you were on a children's TV show, is that right? Yeah, I was born in Zambia um, and uh, you know all my life Hayley I wanted to be a singer. I used to tell my wow. mom and dad that's all I wanted to do and uh, in Zambia, Lusaka, there was a children's uh, television program and my mom and dad managed to get me on to sing a song so that oh. was my first time ever appearing on TV and singing and I just thought this is wonderful, you know, yeah. lights, camera, action. <laughs> and I just, you know, at that young age, I think I must have been about 10 or 11. And uh, I just knew in my heart and soul, this is all yeah. I wanted to do. Yeah. And, you know, wherever my parents could get me to sing, you know, they did. You know, whether it was at, you know, family barbecues, uh, at family parties and get-togethers. And then there was a stint that my dad got me to perform at in Lusaka at the Holiday Inn when I was 14 with a, a band back in me. And, you know, it was for two weeks and they couldn't advertise me because I was underage, but he, he knew a band uh, member who was a friend of his and that's how that happened. So that was like my first time really getting into, yeah. um, you know, to being a singer to what I've become today. Yeah, and you came over to London. Audience. What was that like for you? It was amazing, you know, I just thought, um, I'd done all that I could in Zambia and Zimbabwe as, as a singer, yeah. you know. Um, I, I could only go so far and I thought I wanted to break it out and become an international singer. And either, you know, if America or the UK opened its doors to me, those are the two countries I wanted to go to. And it mm. just so happened that it was the UK. And uh, it was just so exciting. And I remember I arrived at Heathrow and the first thing that hit me was the cold. And I oh, thought, tell me about it. <laughs> And fortunately, my I love to talk about the weather. <laughs> fortunately, my friend who met me had this uh, warm jacket for me. And I just thought, I'm not going to last in this country. It is too cold. You know, I, <laughs> I come from a hot climate. But uh, fortunately, you know, uh, the UK is now my home. And um, yeah, it holds it holds great sentimental uh, values to me because this is where I, I made my success. Career Absolutely. Let me I've got here. Um, you've got, uh, you know, you've had eight top dance 40 singles in the UK. I mean, did you ever think you would have so much success? No, not at all. You know, I came here yeah. hungry for it. I came here to, yeah. you know, hopefully uh, make a living from it, you know, and go around the world singing for people, however that turned out, you know, and it just so happened that the hit singles came, you know, um, it gave me the opportunity, you know, till today go out and perform uh, for an audience, which is, for me, the biggest prize. Yeah, it really must be. Well, we're going to go into the next song. I love this one. Faith in the Power of Love. And now, this is a timeless classic. And this song was re-released uh, after Everybody's Free, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, peaking at number 11. Yes, yes, it was. I remember Faith in the Power of Love was released before um, Everybody's Free. And I remember feeling yes. so down because it went uh, oh. top 75. And I'm going, I know it's such a good song. It just go top 10, yeah. you know. And then, of course, yeah. uh, Everybody's Free was released. And then they re-released Faith and Power of Love. And, of course, that went top 20. And I thought, wow, wow. Yes, absolutely. It's an absolute tune. Again, we want everyone dancing on your Saturday night. Here we go.
forward, fingers crossed, the gigs will be coming back, won't they? I saw you put on your Instagram uh, that you'll be at Tatton Park at Pop Up Festival with Entrance, Baby D, Fats and Small. I am so there. Um, I know you performed at Rewind as well and just fingers crossed that we can get all these gigs back because you guys must love it and us watching you, you know, it really is a high and we've missed it so much in lockdown. Oh, I have missed it so much. I really have. And, uh, you know, when I saw the lineup for the Tatton Park gig, I mean, those are my friends. I love them. I love Aww. Baby D. I love Fat and Small. I love Entrance. <laughs> and, you know, they're my pals and we've miss missed each other for about a year and a half. You know, yeah. and um, so I really, really look forward to that. And I did a gig about a couple of weeks ago, uh, which was the first gig I did after not performing for about a year and three months or so. And it was so amazing, but it was so strange because it was social distance. Um, the people yeah. had to, you know, stay around their tables and dance around their tables. And this particular nightclub uh, normally would have a capacity of about 1,500 people. Yeah. And they were only allowed to have 60 tables. Therefore, the capacity that night was 300 people and it was sold out. And But, you know, everyone on their faces were just rearing to go. And, yeah. you know, Everybody's Free is one of those songs when I got on it stage. Is. Yeah. Uh, they all wanted to come to the dance floor and dance and they had, you know, security guards going, you know, very nice. No, 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 go back, sit back down, sit back down. So they all stood around their tables and had their cameras out and, oh. you know, it was a good feeling, but it was very yeah. strange. It's it's certainly not like old times. So. No, and like you say, your music is just that sort of music that you just want to get up and dance. How can you sit down to Everybody's Free? You can't. You need to get up <laughs> on your feet. So, yes. Well, we're... I know, exactly. exactly. I mean, when I sing that song... I'm jumping up and down. I can't help myself because, you know, I'm feeling the beat as well. And when I see the audiences on stage with me and, and getting that same kind of feeling, it's, uh, you know, you just want to put your hands up in the air and jump up yeah, and down and just really uh, have do. a good time. Yeah, I'm so with you on that. Uh, now, the next song we're going to play out, uh, Turn On The Light, uh, which I know is one of your new tracks. And you've part written this, haven't you? Yes, yes. Uh, that is, uh, if you listen to the lyrics, that's a sort of semi semi-biographical track. And there's a part in it that's uh, Everybody's Free is Sung. It's talking about me being in the music industry and how tough it is, you know, but when I go out on that stage, the lights are turned on, the audience are, you know, putting their hands up in the air. That just makes me keep on wanting to doing uh, what I do and it keeps me encouraged. Yeah, absolutely love that. We're going to take uh, a little clip from the video right now. Enjoy. <laughs>
got some questions from some of our lovely viewers. Uh, Keith would like to know, what was it like when you supported Michael Jackson on his dangerous tour? Now, I know that he actually chose you personally, didn't he? He did, he did. I remember I was uh, in New York in the offices uh, of Sony and uh, I was one of the artists that they put forward uh, for Michael Jackson to choose from. Oh. And I got a call uh, when I was there saying, Rosala, you need to get back on the next flight. Michael Jackson has personally chosen you. Honestly, Whoa. my jaw hit the floor. And, and the reason I guess that happened was at the time across Europe, everybody's free to feel good. Are you ready to fly? And Faith in the Power of Love were big hits, were big dance hits. And Michael specifically asked for an artist who had big hits across Europe. And I guess, you know, that helped. And uh, it, it was honestly, you know, Keith, I will say, till I go to my grave, that was one of the highlights yeah, of my career. Yeah, it's got to be. How can you beat that? I mean, yeah, just incredible. Yeah. And did you get to hang out with him much? I mean, obviously you were the support act. How was that? I got to meet him. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, his, his people got me to get uh, promotional pictures with him. That's the first time I met him. And he was so lovely. You know, he hugged oh. me and I've got a picture with uh, myself and him and my band members, uh, you know, in my office downstairs and, you know, some people come and see them and go, did you go to Madame Tussauds and take that? <laughs> if they don't know, if they don't know that I supported Michael Jackson, they go, it's the real deal. Yeah, you, know, that's, you know, that's really, yeah, just to let you know, hello. And um, honestly, it was just one of the highlights wow. of my career. And he was like, you know, when I watched him and we tried to watch him as much as we could after uh, my set and it was like magic unfolding before your very eyes. It was surreal. Oh, I can't even imagine. Just brilliant. And you also toured with Billy Ocean, didn't you? Yes. What a lovely man. What a, oh, just, he seems you know, it. he was amazing. And Billy, his songs were, you know, when we watched him, it was a case of every song he did. I oh. thought... I know that song, I know that song, I know that song. And the list just kept on going on and on. You knew every song and what a talent, what a voice. Yeah. Just yeah. beautiful, amazing, he amazing is. man. Yeah, we love him. Uh, well, Amanda would like to ask, aside from music, what are your passions? Oh, my passions, my goodness. I'm not going to say cooking. <laughs> <laughs> So my husband thinks I'm a good cook, so, you know, thank oh, you. there we go. <laughs> so win-win. Um, I enjoy walking, you know. Um, I love yeah. it even more so since the pandemic has happened. And uh, I found yeah, actually I really, air. really love this for body, mind and soul. I enjoy going oh. to the gym. Um, I enjoy, you know, Netflix. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I could stay in all day and just watch everything on Netflix and Amazon Prime. So... <laughs> Two very dangerous um, uh, TV channels yes. for me, yeah. It, it really is. And uh, Sarah would like to know, what was it like performing on Top of the Pops? Oh, that was wonderful. I was told, yeah. um, you know, I, I had the fortune of uh, performing on Top of the Pops, I believe, eight times. Wow. And I was told each time an artist appeared on Top of the Pops, their single that was out at the time would climb a few more, you know, places. Yeah places in the right direction and and for sure that was true because when I performed on Top of the Pops each time I had a new single out obviously uh, and that was part and parcel of promoting it they they went up a few notches you know whether it was Everybody's Free, Faith in the Power of Love, I Love Music and they just sort of went up and up so I'm going yeah I need to keep doing Top of the Pops so my songs could keep going, <laughs> going up the charts and it was an amazing experience because you have Quite a few other artists performing therefore the opportunity to meet them yes and uh you have the live audience performing uh and dancing and and it was nerve-wracking because i sung live although it didn't go out live uh i sung live but i tried to always um but i used to imagine i was in a nightclub and you know uh, the people that are uh, yeah in, in the studio it's quite small are, like, the you know, in the nightclub. Yeah. yeah yeah it was quite small it yeah. was quite small but it was wonderful, wonderful experience. Oh. And it's quite a shame it's no longer. I know. You know I always say it's this. It's a real shame. But Thursday night, Top of the Pops. You knew where you were in the week, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. They need to bring it back. That was, I mean, I don't think there's any TV program, music TV program that's out there that's, you know, uh, of that standard. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We want Top of the Pops back. Yeah, uh, we're going to go into the next song, uh, If You Say It Again, uh, which went to number five on the Billboard Club dance charts. And not only that, it spent five weeks there, which is an incredible success. I was so shocked um, that we released that about uh, 
ooh, I think five years ago, six years ago, and uh, it fell on the laps of Frank Sorello, who used to look after me when I was signed to Sony. And we right. sort of gone in different directions because, you know, life happens. You still love one another, but it doesn't mean you need to be in each other's faces every day. And he contacted me and he said, Rosella, you know, it's Frank. I heard this track. I can promote it for you here in America. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. And uh, the next thing, you know, he, he uh, got it to number five on the Billboard Dance Club charts. And I was so shocked, you know, coming from so many years of not being yeah. uh, in the Billboard charts with everybody's free ready to fly in faith, this song, Out of the Blue, does that. And, you know, I have to thank all the DJs uh, for yeah. making that happen because it got their vote. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's a great tune. Enjoy, and we'll see you just in just a couple of minutes. about this i don't know it depends what the questions are. <laughs> <laughs> here we go a uh, song that you most like to perform um i mean of one of my own songs i enjoy performing are you ready to fly oh i like it yeah and first yeah. song that you ever purchased on a cassette it was yeah it was a a, a record you know at the time it yeah. was albums and uh it was Anita Baker, oh. Sweet Love. Oh, yeah. that's a I'm tune. I'm a big fan. That's a great yeah, tune. I'm a big, I'm yeah. A, yeah, I'm a big Anita, Anita Baker fan. A guilty pleasure song. <laughs> oh, my! well, I don't know if it's guilty or whatever, but uh, it's it's uh, a Luther Vandross track oh. called So Amazing. 
I know I that. Love it. That is one it. of those songs that just skits you, isn't it? It's on my, oh, it's on my list. I, mean, I love it. It's I not mean, really guilty pleasure. It's so amazing, but we'll let you have that yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. it's so amazing to be loved. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, beautiful. I need to play that right now. Uh, first concert that you ever went to. Wow. Um, goodness me. I was thinking about that and I couldn't quite um, put my finger on it. I think it was when I came to the UK uh, and I went to watch, I believe it was, in fact, it was Anita Baker. Oh. Thinking about it. Yeah, it was Anita Baker and we went to Wembley. And we were so far behind, I could barely see the lady. You know, I was so upset, but it was a Nita oh, Baker, so I didn't care. Exactly. And that was the first concert I went to watch. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Love that. And a uh, favourite song that's currently in the UK charts? Is there one that really stands I, out for you? Well, I, I don't really listen to what's current in the charts, but I had a quick look, I'll be honest with you. And I went down, 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 down. And honestly, I love... Um, Fleetwood Mac oh, and yes. they're somewhere in there in the top 100 with one of my all time favourite tracks of theirs called Dreams oh yes yeah. like it Just wow we're going to play out um, a song from you now uh, I feel it slipping away when I heard this I was like absolute tune and what I love oh. most is your different hairstyles in this and I'm particularly liking the red because when I go Thank to the hairdressers Rosella, honestly they're like should we do this should we do that and I'm like no, I just want to keep it like this. I get scared. But you can take any look. I'm very jealous. <laughs> well, I was I was passing a wig shop with my husband uh, <laughs> about a year ago. And um, this wig shop had all these color wigs on the window. And my husband said to me, you know, why don't you get some wigs and just wear them on stage? Especially, you know, when you're on tour, yeah. you're doing your hair all the time and you're messing it up with heated. It's a good idea. Yeah, like that's that. me. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And he says, why don't you get some wigs and get some color ones? And it's it's fun. Just have fun. So we got a blonde wig. We got a blue <laughs> wig. We got a black and a, and a red wig. And, and that's how that came about. So I took them all to this uh, video uh, shoot. And Ash Stanley, who did the, the video, uh, I showed him the wigs and he loved them. And he's like, you got to wear majority of all of them. So that's how that came about. And uh, and the sleeve for I feel it slipping away. Ash took a picture of it on his iPhone. And that's how that came to be. Oh, good idea of your husband's. I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got some style. <laughs> <laughs> and now this song uh, was written by songwriting royalty, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was written by Lamont Dozier. And uh, that was sent to uh, Gary at Energized Records. And Gary sent it to me saying, Rosala, this song is well up your street. And I listened to it at yeah, the time. Yeah, it's very I didn't, Yeah, I didn't realise it was written by Lamont Dozier. And then, of course, we recorded the track. Um, and you know, uh, it was sent to Lamont Dozier and he sent back a message saying how blessed he felt that we'd chosen his song to sing and how blessed oh, he felt thanks. that I'd done the vocal. And when I looked him up and who he was, I mean, talk about my jaw hitting the floor. I thought, yeah. wow, the, the fact that he took the time to reply and uh, send us this message was just such a blessing in itself, you know, yes. just so oh. wonderful. Oh, lovely. Well, we're going to play uh, the music video out right now. If you haven't heard this song before, you're in for such a treat. I heard it, absolutely loved it straight away. Enjoy.
end and we are going to finish on such a high your cover of i love music again we want everyone it's saturday night on your feet dancing uh, but thank you so much this has been such a great show it's been so uplifting and a real pleasure to have you come and chat with us well thank you so much for having me Haley. i really really appreciate it and i appreciate you because you know it's people like yourself that help me keep my profile you know, oh. and uh, doing this whole pandemic stuff, doing things like this has kept it, um, you know, like I'm doing something towards my career and doing some kind of normal stuff, you know, which yeah. has been amazing. Thank you. Oh, no, it's such a pleasure. And I can speak for everyone. We've had a great show tonight and um, a real treat. So thank you so much. It is Rosella, everyone. <laughs> Huge thank you, Rosella. And here is that last song, I Love Music. Huge thank you, Rosella. What a guest on tonight's show. And just thank you so much to everyone at home for supporting the show. It's really appreciated. Thank you. Now, here is Saturday Night's Song of the Week. We are going to leave you with Mark Reed. Such a fabulous tune. Enjoy. And I will see you same time, same place next week. Hello Hayley, it's Mark Reed here. Thank you so much for playing the video to my song, Stop the Show. Um, I wrote this song as a bit of an anthem uh, and something I thought could be a really good show opener. And uh, But it's also very relevant with what's going on now with the music venues and theatres finally opening up again. And uh, just like me, any performer is absolutely itching to get back out on stage again and to see everyone again. So uh, the story behind the video, I originally wanted to film it in an actual theatre but decided, you know, to keep it safe, it would be easier to do it at home. So I turned my living room into a DIY a green screen studio uh, and to later turn into a, an imaginary theatre. Uh, just about got away with it. So hope you enjoy it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And a big hello to all your wonderful viewers. Here it is. It's Stop the Show. You can stop the show. We can stop the show. It, you won't want to miss a single line This is your invitation And nothing's gonna stand in your way So somebody Call somebody Cause we've got something to say Welcome to the show See you on the other side. Welcome to the show. Step right up.